guys, it's me, Ice Game Boy. And today we're gonna I'm actually gonna do a video I never did before and that is reviewing. Now today we're gonna review one of my favorite and one of the best superhero movie ever, Spider Man two thousand two. Now before I before I review this movie, I would like you guys to like, subscribe and comment on what you guys want me to review next. Anyways, let's get into it. Ben, don't start without me. And don't start up with me. We, we start off with Peter getting bit by a spider. And obviously, obviously, just like in the comic, everything everything feels like action. It feels, it feels like watching a comic book, kind of. And then after a couple of scenes... Peter takes pictures of Mary Jane, and then he gets bit by a spider. And when he gets bit by a spider, obviously he he starts to feel like he's he's becoming sick at first. But then after a couple of scenes, we do we we knew we literally get to see, um, we literally get to see him in his room with and and he ends up like using his webs. And what I like about the the movie is that. The music is great. The I like how they did the efforts and and all the stuff, and and I like how Peter Parker is played from by Tobey Maguire and Mary Jane is played by Kristen Dust and James Franco, which is played by Harry, and yeah, but anyways. After that, Peter, we get to see, like, the the Green Goblin. Well, the Green Goblin is actually um, Henry's dad, which is Norman Osborn. And they do, like, the scientist test where Norman tries wants to, like, do some experiments on getting powers and stuff. But in, instead of going well, it goes wrong. And then after that happens, he turns evil and then... Peter starts to realize that that he 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 can't wear glasses. He gets powers. He starts to feel strong. Then we get to see then then a couple of scenes we get to see his his school and apparently he shoots webs and all that crazy stuff. And then after that, he accidentally um shoots his web at at the. He throws like the food at the puss at the, um at what do you call it, F um Flash, and Flash obviously becomes mad. Then he tries to have a fight with Peter. And what I like about that scene is that Peter, Peter like has like cool powers, and and it's so cool looking at it because it, this is literally like, the first Spider-Man movie to ever hit in theaters, and it's really cool. Like the idea of making the movies that. Like, like it was, it was amazing seeing like, like the characters seeing like, seeing like Spider Man, which is Peter having powers and then becoming the Spider Man we all know. And yeah, that's that's cool. And then after a couple of scenes, Peter does become Spider Man, and then and he starts to save people's lives. People like him. Then the Green Goblin. Be Comes back, tries to destroy the city, and then Norman doesn't realize that he's the one who's who who's in control and stuff, and and then after, and then we also get the scene where where Norman where Norman crawls down and then talks to the Goblin like like he's paralyzed, and trust me, it's really funny, but yeah, and then after that, after a couple of scenes, Mary Jane. Um, gets saved by Spider Man once against Peter, and then after that, she she ends up liking Spider Man. Peter starts to feel more happy about it, and then of course, of course, after a couple of scenes, um, Green Goblin starts to starts to destroy the New York City bridge, and then Spider Man comes back because he kidnapped Mary Jane. And that, and he has to save his girlfriend, and all that stuff. And then we get this really intense scene, where where Spider Man, where Spider Man gets 
grabbed and then gets pulled. And it's really it's really cool because I I really really like this prompt. Cause it it felt like I I felt so bad for Peter when Peter was like getting hit by different stuff, different objects. He was getting punched and owned so badly, and it was really intense. This is my gift, my curse. Who am I? I'm Spider Man. It's a scene where where Peter starts to to but. But Peter's face looks like he, he knocked himself with a hammer. But anyway, we get this tense scene where he starts to like, um, um, try to, he tries to hold back and he ends up destroying the Green Goblin and the Green Goblin ends up becoming Norman Osborn and then he, he, he gets, he gets hit by a glider and Peter feels so bad for that happening and then Henry starts to get mad at, at Spider Man then and we get this in that in a couple of scenes later in the ending we get we get this really cool moment where where Spider Man where Peter like is like narrating himself just like in a comic and then and then also and also Uncle Ben did die from from that burglar that Peter would need, so I forgot to mention that. But after that, we get this cool ending that looks like CGI, and I like how they did like the CGI move kind of, and it was really cool. And then we get this ending where Peter goes on top of the pool and he swings to the to the screen, and then he zooms all the way into the eye of the mask. And that's my review of Spider Man. What I think about it. Mm, I I really love it. That mo that movie is really great. The movie is is so cool. It's funny, and I'm, and it has lots of action, and it's really great. And yeah, but anyway, thank you thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more, don't leave a like, subscribe, and comment below what you guys want me to review next. And 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 until next time, guys. Ice Game Boy out.